Hey guys, it's me and today I'm in my kitchen because I am going to be cooking up a little recipe in the crock pot and so I figured why not film it because this is a recipe that I really love, my family really loves it, everybody I know loves it. So it's really, really super simple. It's going to be perfect for the upcoming fall and winter seasons and so I figured I would just share it with you guys since I'm already here um, doing everything. So um, this is my crock pot. It's just a rival crock pot. Um, I love anything cooked in a crock pot. It's really convenient and simple because then you can just put everything that you need in the crock pot and then you can go to work or you can go run your errands or you can do whatever you want to do and you don't have to worry about actually cooking it. Well, the recipe that I'm doing today um, is actually from Cracker Barrel. Uh, it's their Sunday dinner special. It's the chicken and rice. And if you've ever had the chicken and rice at Cracker Barrel, comment below because I'd be interested to see what you think about it. Um, my parents are like obsessed with this chicken and rice. They love Cracker Barrel. I totally love Cracker Barrel too, but I had never tried the chicken and rice, but my parents loved it. I think it was maybe last year or the year before when they went to Cracker Barrel, they asked um, if the waiter could give them the recipe. And the waiter actually did give them the recipe or at least the basic idea of it. So since then, my parents have been cooking it, and I have the recipe too, and so I love it. So I'm cooking it. I'm going to just tell you guys basically what it is because it's super simple. Um, it's something you can just throw together. You probably already have um, almost all the ingredients already at your house, and I think your kids will probably like it and everything like that. So I just figured I would share it with you guys, and who doesn't love a good, like, heartwarming comfort food meal, like a Cracker Barrel meal? Everybody loves those. So... Basically what you're going to need is you're going to need some carrots. I just bought a little bag of baby carrots because, you know, they're more convenient. And just cut them up, like dice them into little pieces. So I've already done that. And then, of course, you're going to need a crock pot. And then you're going to need two cans of um, cream of chicken soup and two cans of cream of mushroom soup. And I just get the Campbell's variety. Um, of course, you could do like a reduced fat or low fat version of these soups. I've tried um, the chicken and rice with low fat cans of soup and it's just as good. So, But I just got the regular cream of mushroom and cream of chicken, two cans of each, okay? It's gonna need a packet of chicken breast tenderloins and here's the ones that I got. Purdue, yum. Um, but yeah, so boneless and skinless chicken breast tenderloins. The tenders will cook up better than just the chicken breasts. I prefer these um, over the regular breasts because they cook faster and I think that they're just better in general um, with this particular recipe. And then if you want, um, you can add a can of chicken broth. Uh, Cracker Barrel recommended it, but I don't have a can of chicken broth on hand today. I have used it before. So if you wanted to add about a quarter to a half a can of chicken broth with this, um, it will just help to thin it out a little bit and give it a little more of a chickeny flavor. Um, but I'm not going to be doing that today. So if my uh, gravy tends to get too thick, I'll just add water or what have you. So basically, I'm just going to take the chicken out and I'm going to put it in the crock pot. I'm going to open all these cans and add those to the crock pot and then I'm going to add my carrots to the crock pot. I'm going to stir it all up in the crock pot and then I'm going to set it to high for four hours. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's already noon here. Um, so that means it'll be done around four o'clock and then I'll just set it to warm until we're ready to eat dinner. Uh, if I had started it earlier this morning, I could have done it on low for eight hours. So basically you can do high for four or low for eight. Just make sure when it's done that you check the, to make sure that the chicken's done and everything. If you do the on low for eight hours, it's typically done in like six, sometimes a little bit more, a little bit less. So you just have to check it at six hours and if it's done, you can just turn it to warm or low heat until you guys are ready to eat dinner. So it's a super easy recipe. So everything that's in the crock pot is like your um, gravy or your topping, I guess, for your rice. So then typically I'll make like, for David and I, I'll make about two cups of white rice and then they, at Cracker Barrel, they mix it with a cup of rice pilaf. So they mix um, white rice and rice pilaf together and then they serve the chicken, carrot, um, creamy gravy over top of it. Um, Dave is not the biggest fan of the rice pilaf, so I just do the white rice, but you know, you can add both. I think it just gives it more texture and more flavor. It's more colorful. I'm just going to go ahead and throw everything in the crock pot and then I'll be back. Okay, so I added my carrots. I added all four cans of soup and then I 
um, cut my chicken breasts into, I don't know, into about quarters and then put it all in the crock pot and mixed it up. Doesn't it look appetizing? You know it does. <laughs> okay, and so everything's mixed up. Then you put your cover on it. Um, I have already set it to high and you leave it on high for four hours. In four hours, I'll come back and check. Um, sometimes it'll take longer. Sometimes it'll be like way done by then. It really just depends. Um, so that's basically how you make it. And then when I think that the crock pot um, gravy is done, I'll prepare like, I don't know, like two cups of white rice and then you just serve this over the white rice. So you don't get any easier than that, you guys. So this is a really great recipe. Um, super simple. You can feed a lot of people with this. Like this is, this would feed way more um, than just my husband and I. But um, I just make that much. I make the um, family portion just so that we have leftovers and everything for the rest of the week. This could definitely feed a lot of people. You can add more soup and more chicken to feed even more people. Just super convenient. Um, it's not the healthiest recipe ever, you guys. You know, it's from Cracker Barrel. But you can find ways to make it more healthy, like using low fat, no fat, reduced fat, um, condensed soups, or what have you. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. I hope you enjoy the chicken and rice recipe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.